I have 3,000 students and nearly a dozen teachers. Surely one of them must have a decent brain. You look lost. What? It's okay, you can talk to me. I'm the art teacher. I may be an authority figure, but I have the mind of a child. Well, today's my first day back at school, and I'm a little nervous. There's no reason to be nervous. Just remember, the first day of school is the most important day of your whole life. If it doesn't go right, there's no way to get it back. No way. Other than that, there's no reason for women to have breasts. Okay, that concludes our unit on reproduction. The important thing for you kids to remember... A new student. Jerry Blank. Okay, Jerry, you can have a seat. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Let's get back to class. Now, as many of you know, this is a very special time of year for me. First of all, it was one year ago that I hit rock bottom, discovered God, and realized that evolution is a farce. Second of all, it's science fair time again, where you students get to make up science projects, which then go to the state science fair and compete against all the other schools in the state. On Saturday. We only have a week? Look! I guess I was supposed to tell you a month ago, but maybe I was a little more concerned about immortal souls and keeping them from the lake of fire. Sorry. Now, unless Beelzebub here wants to poke me with his pitchfork some more, I'd like to teach my class. I want to put the sign-up sheet out in the hall, and you can all sign up for this very special event, or not. It don't make no never mind to me. Okay, open your science books to page 15. Galileo's Letters to the Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. And when the demon did give me the telescope, I was sore afraid, for the lights of heaven were beyond my knowing. Busted! Something you'd like to share with the entire class, Jerry? <laughs> did you draw this? Uh, he gave it to me. Maniaco? Did you draw this? Okay, Jerry, I guess you're both a liar and a snitch. What? See me after class. <laughs> you wanted to see me? Yes, Jerry. I've got my eye on you, and if you give me any excuse, I will bring the hammer down. Do we get each other? You bet. Okay, you can go. Bag it. What'd you say? What did you hear? I'd rather not repeat it. Well, then I guess we'll never know. Oh, Dominus. Hey, Chuck. Joffrey. Try and guess what I did with my art class today. I don't think so. We've broken that new kiln by placing items in it that the manual specifically prohibits. I can see why car batteries near the top of the list. I get it now. Jeffrey, I'm, I'm busy. Did you get my note? Yeah, one of my students found it. Doesn't even look like me. What do you want? I was drawing it from memory. You know something? It never meant much to me to have a baby. But then I found out nobody wanted to give me one. And nobody denies me something I think I might want. Chuck. Joffrey. As you know, due to the kiln fire,
will be having class out here in the parking lot. Remember, the magic of art is there are no incorrect answers. Anything goes. That's wrong. Oh, I like this. <laughs>